Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. University of Dammam, Deanship of E-Learning and Distance Learning, College of Applied Studies and Community Service. This is the English course again. And my name is Mazen Al Kibriti, and here we are back uh, for the English course to continue what we stopped at last time. Last time we stopped at Unit Two, and this is lecture 9. In this lecture we will continue talking about unit 2 and inshallah we'll finish unit 2 so next time we can start with a new unit which is unit uh, uh, 3. Okay so in the beginning of this unit let me remind you about what we talked about last time. Uh, last time we talked about uh, 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 and that was the most important point we talked about object pronouns we talked about object pronouns and when do you use object pronouns and we will review object pronouns at the end of this lecture inshallah and we talked also how to say no in a polite way how to say no in a polite way so when you want to say no to someone you have to say it in a polite way. How we say it in a polite way? We give some explanation. And there is another way. We will talk about it now. في المحاضرة السابقة تحدثنا عن ضمائر المفعول به. ما هي وكيفية استخدامها وسنعود لنقوم بمراجعة سريعة عنها وحل بعض التمارين الخاصة بها في نهاية المحاضرة بإذن الله. وتكلمنا أيضا عن كيفية الإجابة بلا ولكن بطريقة لطيفة وودودة وذلك بعد الإجابة بلا يمكننا إضافة بعض المعلومات أو بعض التفسير لتفسير لماذا قمنا بالإجابة بلا وهناك طريقة أخرى سنتحدث عنها الآن أوكي So we are ready to begin So we'll go to the first page The first slide We will talk about really why do we use really? We have different uses for really. So sometimes we use it to make a statement stronger or softer or to talk in a polite way. So to make a statement softer or to make it stronger or to talk in a polite way. نستخدم really in three ways. We, st we use it to make a statement stronger لجعل uh, النبرة الصوت في الكلمة أو المعنى أقوى أو uh, أخف وطأة أقل أو للتحدث بأسلوب لطيف وودود Okay, let's see those uses The first one, as I said, you can use really to make statements stronger and to make negative statements softer So we use it with uh, uh, with the statements, affirmative statements, مع الجمل المثبتة, to make them stronger, and with negative sentences or negative statements, to make them softer. أخف أقل وطأة بنبرة أقل. So how is that? Let's see some examples. Okay, the first example that we have. I really enjoy knitting. I really enjoy knitting. If we say I enjoy knitting, it's a statement. I enjoy knitting. If we want to make it stronger, لإضافة لإضافة تأكيد أو توكيد أو لجعل ال الفعل يظهر بشكل أكبر, نقوم بإضافة really. So I really enjoy knitting. I enjoy knitting very much. Okay. This is uh, the first example. The second example, I really like making things. So the thing is the same thing here. And those examples were taken from the conversation that we did in the last lecture. هذه الأمثلة مأخوذة من المحادثة التي ركزنا عليها في محاضرة في نهاية المحاضرة السابقة. So, as we said, the first two examples to make a statement stronger to make a statement stronger okay the next example is a negative statement so we have I'm not really into photography 
I'm not really into photography so sometimes if we want to make something softer when we want to say no you have to make the statement softer you don't want to be rude you want to be polite you have to be polite to, you have to make your negative statement softer you don't have to say no in a rude way you have to say it in a polite way and how is that we use really so we can say I'm not into photography and this is very rude this is not polite but we can make it softer we can make it uh, softer by saying I'm not really into photography Okay, those are the first two uses. Let's see the th the third one, the other one. We use not really. Now we add not. We add negative to really to to make it negative. Not really. We can use it. We can also be a polite way to answer no. So we make the really negative. We make it really. We add not before it. Okay. So how is that? I don't really have much time for hobbies. I don't really have much time for hobbies. So the same thing. So if you want to talk in a polite way to make the statement softer, so we make it really negative. We make it negative. That's why uh, the 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 statement is polite, is softer, and those are the uses of really. So we use really to make a statement stronger to make the verb stronger or to make a uh, negative statement softer or polite softer or polite okay now we will have an exercise about really so answer the following questions give your own answers using really or not really okay so we don't have options we don't have a choices so you have to write the answer yourself okay the first one are you interested in sports are you interested in sports so are you interested in sports so what could be the answer so if you think about that so you might say yes you might say no so it's up to you I'll just give you examples of how to answer such a questions. So قوم بتقديم أمثلة عن كيفية الإجابة عن هذه الأسئلة. So you might have a different answer. يمكن أن يكون عندكم أجوبة مختلفة. But the, uh, what I give you is just an example. Okay. So an example to uh, an answer to this question. Are you interested in sports? Not really. Not really means no. No, I'm not interested. But to be polite, you say, not really. So, not really, I don't really play any sports. So, here we said, not really, I don't really play any sports. So, we used really here twice, two times. We use it two times in order to make our statement softer, to make it polite. Okay, so this is question one. Now, question two. Are you into computers? Are you into uh, into computers? So this time you might say yes. So let's see the answer. Well, well. So when you say well, it means you are thinking or you want to give an answer. I'm really into computer games. I'm really into computer games. So in this statement we make it stronger. We made the statement stronger by adding really to the statement the next one do you enjoy doing jigsaw puzzles jigsaw puzzle is the usual puzzle when you have a picture that you have to bring together here enough al puzzle al ma'rufa it's called jigsaw puzzles okay so do you enjoy doing jigsaw puzzles so if yes you can say yes if no you can say no but here the answer is no so not really it means no I think jigsaw puzzles are boring I think jigsaw puzzles are boring so if you say I think jigsaw puzzles are boring by itself without bidun, without saying not really it's really impolite 
it's really not polite so we added not really to make it polite not really I think jigsaw puzzles are boring so that's why we have a polite answer for this question question 4 are you good at fixing things are you good at fixing things هل أنت جيد بتصليح الأشياء هل تتقن تصليح الأشياء the answer no so no not really again a polite answer I'm not good with my hands I'm not good with my hands again we have a very polite answer and how we get a polite answer yes we get a polite answer by adding not really uh, the next question if we have a look at the next question question number five and question number five is a different question do you make your own clothes do you make your own clothes if we translate this question هل تقوم أو هل تقومين بصنع ملابسك بنفسك أو هل تقومين بخياطة أو حياكة ملابسك بنفسك so the answer for me no not really no I'm not really into sewing I'm not really into sewing and if you remember sewing we talked about it in the last lecture sewing but I really like shopping I really like shopping it means I, li I like to buy my clothes I don't r like to make my clothes but I like to buy them I l really like to go shopping so another polite answer and then we added more information and that is more polite it's more polite when you add information when you explain you explained here the explanation is I really like shopping I like to buy them but I don't like to make them so by this we come to the end of this uh, uh, section talking about really so we said we use really to make a, str a statement stronger or to make it softer or to make a negative statement more polite to make a negative statement polite okay now we are done with really now we will talk about something else we'll talk about something else let's go to the next slide linking ideas linking ideas what does it mean to link ideas to link ideas to make them connect together to bring them together to b put a connection between them to we put a connector that's how, wha how we connect to ideas maybe you have two sentences two sentences جملتين نريد ربط ربط هاتين الجملتين أو ربط فكرتين so we link them together how we link ideas let's see together how can we link ideas so if we if we want to add an idea if we want to add it means idafa if we want to add an idea how can we add an idea the first way to add an idea we use and and this is very easy I do photography and I like art so they might be before we k link them they might be two sentences for example we have two sentences إذا كان عندنا جملتين لنفترض I do photography full stop الجملة الثانية I like art so if we want to make them one sentence one sentence so we add between them and نضيف and لدمج الجملتين أو لربط الجملتين مع بعض لتصبح لدينا جملة واحدة by the way comma comma does not show the end of the sentence الفاصلة هي ليست نهاية الجملة لا تظهر الفاصلة نهاية الجملة only a full stop question mark or exclamation point only those show the end of a sentence full stop or a period we call it a full stop or period which is this one this punctuation here question mark شارد استفهام exclamation point علامة تعجب okay so the first way 
we add the AND between the two ideas to link them. The second way I also like books. I also like books. So we add also to say that I do photography and I like arts also Aidan I like books. So this also connects the like with I like art and I do photography. So this also even if it is in another sentence حتى لو كانت في جملة ثانية فهي تربط الفكرة مع الأفكار في الجملة السابقة أيضا بالإضافة إلى ما ذكر سابقا So oh, I also like books and here we have another connector especially especially it means uh, على وجه الخصوص وخصوصا history books history books okay so so far we have three words three words and also and especially we can use them to link ideas so especially links history books with books I also like books especially history books so especially links history books with books here okay the next one we have the word or or I don't like for uh, biographies or poetry I don't like biographies or poetry so here we say I don't like photographies or I don't like biographies and I don't like poetry so in order to link those two ideas the, th the two things that I don't like so we make them into one and we add between them or I don't like for biographies or poetry so I don't like both of them so I don't like biographies or poetry okay so we have four uh, words that we can use to link ideas if we want to add an idea how about the next thing which is contrast to ideas contrast to ideas what does it mean contrast if we have two ideas but two ideas are different there is a contrast how we contrast two, two ideas we show the contrast by using one word what is that word we use but so if we have opposite ideas so can عندنا فكرتين متباينتين نقوم بالربط بينهما باستخدام but so let's see the example I like a climbi a climbing أحب التسلق but ولكن my friends don't it means my friends don't like a climbing so I like a climbing this is the first idea the opposite idea the contrasted idea here is my friends don't like a climbing they don't so two opposite ideas I like to drink milk but I don't like to drink soda so I like one thing but I don't like the other thing okay so this is the way how we link or contrast two opposite ideas to contrast ideas the third part how to give a reason كيف نقوم بتقديم سبب how to give reason we use one word which is because we use because so because is the answer to why so let's see the example I can't go on vacation because I have some work to do so those might be two sentences I can't go to vacation for the sub I have some work to do but to make these two sentences link, link together to m give more meaning we link to s uh, the, the two ideas together and we add because to show that the second part is the reason 
لنوضح أن القسم الثاني هو السبب للقسم الأول So because is the answer to why why I can't go on vacation why I can't go on vacation I can't go on vacation why because I have some work to do so because I have some work to do is the answer to why okay so as we said again so we can link to ideas by add an idea so we can use and also especially or 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 we can contrast two ideas by using but and the last thing that we can do we can give a reason by using because okay let's now move to do something else let's do an exercise about uh, how to use and but or also or because so let's see this text we have a message let's see what is the message about the title or the topic of this message rock climbing rock climbing تسلق الصخور rock climbing so let's read the text and then try to uh, use those words and but or also or because in order to complete this test okay uh, before you complete I want you to read all the text by yourself you can pause the video you can answer the uh, or you can fill the spaces then we will check the answers together okay maybe now you can stop your video and read the text then we can check the answers together okay I hope that you have the answers or you have filled the spaces with the correct words okay let's read the uh, text together let's read the message together one of my hobbies is rock climbing I go once or twice a month أذهب مرة أو مرتين في الشهر with my friends we prefer to climb the mountains near my house space they are really beautiful so we prefer to climb mountains near my house نفضل تسلق الجبال بالقرب من منزلي they are really beautiful if you think about it do you think that here we are adding an idea or we have two contrasted ideas opposite ideas or we are giving reason what do you think هل نقوم بإضافة فكرة أو نقوم بربط فكرتين متضادتين أو متعاكستين أو نقوم بتقديم سبب What do you think? So the answer to this question Because we prefer to climb the mountains near my house Why? Why you prefer to climb the mountains near your house? Because they are really beautiful so this is the reason for the first part okay let's continue we usually go to Beer Mountain عادة أو غالبا نذهب إلى جبل Beer this is a name عادة الأسماء تكون in capital letters بالحروف الكبيرة Beer Mountain it's a name of a mountain space we usually go to Beer Mountain space to Kennedy Park to Beer Mountain to Kennedy Park so here we are giving so we go to this place or to other place so we go to Beer Mountain or to Kennedy Park so we go to one of the places not only to Beer Mountain or to Kennedy Park the next one I prefer Kennedy Park I know of the Kennedy Park it's nearer I prefer Kennedy Park it's nearer so what should we choose here and but or, or also or because why do you prefer Kennedy Park because it's nearer so it's nearer near nearer in the whole 
أقرب أوكي so this is the reason why do you prefer Kennedy Park because it's nearer Kennedy Park has a great campground campground what does it mean campground أرضية للتخييم أو مكان للتخييم so Kennedy Park has a great campground so now we, gi we are giving another reason so in order to link that it, it's nearer also has a great cam uh, campground so Kennedy Park also has a great campground the next paragraph it's great to be outdoors outdoors is the opposite of indoors indoors داخل المنزل outdoors out outside the house so it's great to be outdoors the weather isn't always very good so here it says that it's great to be outdoors then we have something else we have a different idea it says the weather isn't always very good so sometimes the weather is bad so here we have two opposite ideas two different ideas that's why we use but it's great to be outdoors but the weather isn't always very good okay if it's raining snowing so if it is raining or snowing does it uh, rain and the snow at the same time no it rains or it snows so if it is raining or snowing is a kind of tumtar or tutflej climbing can be very dangerous the rocks get wet and slippery تصبح الصخور رطبة وزلقة ok slippery زلقة so climbing can be very dangerous why? why climbing can be very dangerous? because the rocks get wet and slippery so this is the reason why climbing can be very dangerous when it rains or snows okay the next paragraph I can also go rock climbing indoors not only outdoors not only outdoors I can also go indoors indoors sometimes you can use it to talk about في مكان مغلق outdoors uh, it might mean في الهواء الطلق خارج المنزل خارج الـ الـ المكان الذي يغطيه سقف so في الهواء الطلق داخل الصلاة في المنزل so whatever you want to use especially during the winter وخاصة وعلى وجه الخصوص خلال فصل الشتاء sometimes my friends I go climbing at the moor so who goes with my friends my friends and I my friends are I so this is the subject my friends and I go climbing at the mall as have lay at the salok fi al mujamma at tijari at the mall but it's not the same we go there but it's not the same laysa al amr siyan so laysa al amr mushabihan li at the salok kharaj al manzil aw fi al hawa al talq but it's not the same so we have different idea even if we go indoors in the mall but it's not the same I just go once a month I go once a month usually on a Thursday Friday so once as a mara wahida so on a Thursday or Friday on a Thursday or Friday I hope this exercise is easy for you it's not very difficult and it's very important really for you especially for the exam it's really important exercise for you okay now we are done with linking ideas let's do something else let's do an exercise from the book in this exercise you have to complete the conversations with the sentences in the box so we have a conversation between Jenny and Kate 
they are having a conversation about uh, using not really actually and other words that we learned so we have to use the sentences here in the box to complete those uh, were sentences or this conversation in order to become complete so now you can stop the video read the sentences then uh, try to complete the conversation okay I hope that you have got the right answers for this conversation to complete this conversation okay let's uh, start with the conversation between Jenny and Kate we'll start with Jenny I really like your sweater. Is it a new? So, Jenny, which is on the left, is talking to Kate, which is on the right. So, Jenny is telling Kate, I really like your sweater, the sweater sh which she is wearing. Is it a new? So, the answer, as we said, not really to make a, a, n a no answer or uh, a statement with no a negative statement to make it polite not really my mom knitted it for me last year so we tick the first one we it's taken it's taken and it's done uh, as an example let's uh, do the next one can you knit or crochet so can you knit or crochet so Kate answers but I bake a little but I bake a little so which one do you think which one do you think is a good uh, statement or a good sentence to complete this one actually the best one to complete this one is no I'm not really good with my hands no I'm not really good with my hands because you knitting or crochet it needs or you need to use your hands in order to knit or crochet okay the next one oh did you make this cake did you make this cake the cake that they are eating that's why she said this cake did you make this cake the answer so which one is can which sentence is related to cakes which sentence do you think is related to cakes actually this sentence is related to cakes why actually no as you if you remember we said we use actually to correct information now we are correcting when we say no actually no my sister got it at the bakery my sister got it bakery what does it mean bakery? Machbaz. Min al machbaz. So my sister got it at the bakery. I didn't even make it. But I like to make cookies sometimes. I like to my uh, to make cookies. So me too. Do you ever make a chocolate chip cookies? So the answer should contain cookies. So the answer they are talking about cookies. So which one? Yes, this one contains cookies. So well no I prefer to make peanut butter cooking peanut butter cookies my family loves them okay so we are done with the first part of the conversation now let's continue to the next page we have the same sentences here but with the rest of the conversation now I want to buy there is a conversation between Mike and Greg Mike and Greg which you can see in the picture I want to buy a Yankees baseball cab for my brother this is a cab a cab that you can wear on your head Yankees is the name of the team who is Fariq Fariq al Yankees baseball cab Qubba'at Kurat al Baseball for my brother Greg answers why is it his birthday is it his birthday? Why you are buying the cab? Is it his birthday? Are you buying uh, the cab for your brother as a birthday gift? So, is it his birthday? So we are talking about his bro brother. We are talking about a cab. So here we have a cab 
No, but he has a big cab collection. عنده مجموعة كبيرة من القبعات. So he's talking about his brother. He has a big uh, cab collection. Does your brother collect anything? My brother? My brother? So this is. He is surprised. My brother? So he's talking about hi his brother. So which sentence is talking about he? Which sentence talking about he? This one? Yes. My brother? No. He's lazy and just. Watches TV all night. In our casual, why you share it with the first طوال النهار? Really? Does he have any hobbies? Any hobbies? No. He just play games or he just plays computer games. He just plays computer games. Oh yeah. My brother is on the computer all the time. Oh. Does he do computer graphics? And the last sentence that we still have is this one. Not really. He does crossword puzzles though. He does crossword puzzles though. يقوم بحل الكلمات المتقاطعة على الرغم من ذلك. Okay. This is the end of the exercise. Now we can move to do something else. Now we will talk a little bit about reading. about reading. We didn't have a reading text before. This is the first time that we will have a reading text. In the first time that we will be able to read the text for the reading. So let's talk a little bit about reading before we start with the text. So the first important point that we should talk about is the topic sentence. As you can see at the title of this slide, topic sentence. What is a topic sentence? So what is a topic sentence? The answer to this, before we answer this question, let me ask you, what is a topic? Topic means the title, the thing that you talk about. إذا كان عندنا نص, الموضوع is called topic. الموضوع الذي يتناوله النص is called topic. Topic sentence, what is a topic sentence? It's a sentence. A group of words. The topic sentence is the first sentence in a paragraph. It gives the reader an idea of what the paragraph is going to be about. So the first thing, the topic sentence is the first sentence in a paragraph. إذا كانت لدينا فقرة من نص أو فقرة نص هو عبارة عن فقرة واحدة. So the first sentence is the topic sentence. الجملة الأولى تشمل عادة الموضوع الذي سيتناوله النص أو الذي ستتناوله الفقرة. It also it gives the reader an idea. يعطي تعطي هذه الجملة فكرة للقارئ عن ماذا سيتناوله النص. Okay. You could know the topic by asking yourself. إذا أردتم معرفة الموضوع أو the topic sentence. Ask yourself what the paragraph is about. What the paragraph is about. ما عن ماذا يدور النص أو عن ماذا تدور هذه الفقرة. Okay. The next question. What does it do? What is the job? What is the objective? What is the goal behind topic sentence? It introduces the main idea. It gives. It puts. It it shows. It presents. تقوم بتقديم The main idea, the فكرة الرئيسية من الفقرة. Okay, so it gives the main idea. So this is the first important thing that you need to focus on the topic idea. So I might give you a text in the exam. ممكن أن نقوم بطرح نص. And I might ask you, what is the main idea? What is the topic of this text? So you know that this is the first sentence of the text. Now we'll talk about an introduction paragraph. Introduction paragraph. What is an introduction paragraph? Sometimes we have a paragraph, only a paragraph. Other times we have a long text with several paragraphs. 
ماذا يعني هذا الكلام؟ أحيانا نكون عندنا فقرة واحدة نص عبارة عن جزء واحد Some other times we have a long text with several paragraphs عندنا نص طويل مشكل من عدة مقاطع In this case we don't have a topic sentence لا يكون عندنا uh, topic sentence We have an introduction or an introductory paragraph وهو فقرة تمهيدية فقرة تمهيدية In other words تكون a topic sentence عبارة عن فقرة تمتد على فقرة وليست جملة واحدة تكون هذه الجملة تمتد إلى فقرة because the text is long لأن النص طويل Okay So the first paragraph is called the introduction المقدمة The introduction paragraph has two main purposes It has two main goals لدي هدفين أساسيين أو وظيفتين أساسيين What are those purposes? The first one, an introdu it introduces the topic, it gives the topic, it presents the topic تقوم بتقديم الموضوع أو بعرض الموضوع To prepare the reader for what you will be reading لتحضير القارئ حول ماذا سيقوم بقراءته So the first purpose, it introduces the topic, it gives the topic, it gives the main idea Number two, it attracts the reader's attention so that they will be interested in reading more so it attracts the reader's attention تقوم بجذب انتباه القارئ so it should be very interesting يجب أن تكون مصير الاهتمام هذه الفقرة يجب أن تكون مصير الاهتمام to attract the reader's attention لجذب انتباه القارئ so now let's see the text that we have in the workbook هذا النص مأخوذ من uh, uh, كتاب التمارين the workbook We'll read it first, then we will do some exercises about it. Okay, the title of this, the title of this text, Some Young People's Hobbies. So we will talk about the hobbies of young people. We'll talk about the hobbies of young people. So let's start with the first paragraph. The first paragraph, which is the introduction. There are many hobbies and hobby websites or hobby sites مواقع على الانترنت للهوايات on the internet camping and the chess sites are two of them so camping التخييم and chess الشطرنج are two of them although على الرغم من انه these two hobbies are very different they are not the same They have one thing in common. على الرغم من أن هاتين الهوايتين مختلفتين جدا، إلا أنهما تشتركان بشيء. Both are very popular. Popular it means famous, رائج, شعبي, with young people. Why? So this is the introduction. It gives the main idea. You have to know the main idea now. It, when I ask you about the main idea, you should know. So if we go to the next page, if we go to the next page, so read the article, check the pictures that the article describes. So from reading the first paragraph, we should know which picture is talking about the uh, paragraph. So which picture? The b first picture. He is camping and he is asleep. Those, they are in a camp and they are playing chess. And the last picture, they are playing chess. So which one do you think? Which one do you think? Which picture? Which picture the article describes? أي صورة يصفها هذا المقال? So The answer should be, your answer should be this picture. Your answer should be this picture. Why? Because we said we are talking about camping, and they are in a camp, and the chess. So the main idea of this uh, paragraph or of this article is camping and the chess. Camping and the chess. Let's go back. Let's go back to the. the to this uh, text let's continue reading the text 
I'll read it and you can stop it and reading by itself. One reason camping is so popular is because it's a cheap. There are campgrounds around the world and they are all different. Some have indoor swimming pools and restaurants, other others don't even have water. But the areas near campgrounds are almost always beautiful. Camping is relaxing. Campers can get up early in the morning and cook breakfast with their family. They can spend the day swimming, fishing, going hiking in the mountains, looking at wildlife or just reading. There is usually no noise, no traffic and no stress. Campers usually sleep very well at night. So, and what about a chess? So now we are talking about a chess. In the first two paragraphs we were talking about camping, now we will talk about chess. And now what about chess? It's cool now. It, it's popular, it means it's popular, it's cool. But in the past not many people or not many young people played the game. A lot of young people got interested in learning chess when they saw it on TV. And many famous people enjoy playing chess. Young people often follow what famous people do, even if it's chess. More and more school children are learning the game. So even school children, children who are at school, are learning the game. We mean by the game chess. Many schools have a chess clubs and there are national competitions every year. And people can play chess on computers too. That means a person can compete against a computer or can even play against a friend or cousin on the internet. You can play chess anywhere even when you are camping. So I'm not gonna explain every single word of the text. Try to use your dictionary if you don't know the meaning of one word. إذا كنتم لا تعرفون معاني جميع الكلمات يمكنكم استخدام القاموس للبحث عن معاني هذه الكلمات. So if you can't find the meaning, you if you don't know the meaning, check the dictionary. Okay. Try to read the text again if you don't understand it. لفهم النص بشكل أكبر you can read it again يمكنكم قراءته مرة ثانية you can stop the video you can stop watching and read it again then we will do the exercise ok now I'll go to the exercise to the next page what you have to do now you, we have statements we have sentences you have to tell me why they are true or false by writing T or F. هل العبارات صحيحة أو خاطئة بالاعتماد على النص for each sentence and correct the false sentences. ثم قوم بتصحيح العبارات الخاطئة. Okay, let's start with the example. Let's start with the example. Camping and chess have nothing in common. ليس بين التخييم والشطرنج شيء مشترك. This is false. هذا خاطئ. So because if you go back to the text, the text says they have one thing in common. What is that one thing in common? If you go back, they have one thing in common. Both are very popular. So this is the one thing that they have in common. Okay. So let's do number two. Camping is popular because it's a cheap and the stress free. Is it true? We don't know. Let's go back to the previous. Camping is popular because it's a cheap and stress free. What does it mean stress free? Stress free it means without stress. 
بدون ضغط relaxing stress is the opposite of relaxing stress relaxing so camping is so popular because it's a cheap so it's right true camping is relaxing which means stress free without stress so this statement is uh, true so this statement is true okay number three campers hardly ever sleep well at night so hardly ever is the opposite of always hardly ever تحمل معنى المعاكس لكلمة always hardly ever it means rarely نادرا so campers hardly ever sleep well at night نادرا ما ينعم المخيمون بالنوم خلال الليل so is it true or false let's go back to the previous text and read so here if we read at the bottom campers usually sleep very well at night so we say sleep very well so they always usually it means often most of the time في معظم الأحيان so it's the opposite so usually is the opposite of hardly ever it's the opposite of hardly ever so it means that the uh, uh, statement that we were reading statement number three is false because campers usually sleep well at night so this is how we correct the statement the next one number four many young people played a chess in the past many young people played chess in the past العديد من الشباب لعبوا الشطرنج في الماضي is it true or false let's go back to check here in the past not many pe young people played the game so not so the statement is wrong is false in the past not many young people played chess number five TV shows helped make camping popular I think this sentence is true because if you go back to the text you can find out that this, this sentence is very true okay so this sentence is uh, false I think I, I'm sure it's uh, false why because it doesn't help camping it helped a chess as here in learning chess when they saw TV so people got interested in learning chess not camping it's true for chess not for camping so if we go back so it's false TV shows help making chess not help making camping it helped making chess popular next number six many schools now have chess clubs it's true that's right so we don't have to correct you can go camping on the internet false why it's false if we go back to the previous page you can go camping on the net no you can't go camping on the net people can play chess on computers you can play chess on computers not camping so false you can play chess on the internet not camping okay by this we come to the end of the reading uh, exercise we have a reading exercise and this is a new thing that we did we'll do it again inshallah in one of the coming lectures now let's do something else let's talk about vocabulary how can you learn some new vocabulary or how can you memorize vocabulary you can link words together in word chains what does it mean chains chains when you have a chains salasal so what the chains salasal al kalimat so how is that let's see the words we have playing chess skiing baking cakes golf reading english books and writing poetry those words we learned today or we learned not today we learned in this unit 
Let's see the chains. We have a chain. I'm good at one, two, three things. I don't like three things. So you can't link those words together in order to memorize them. من أجل تسهيل عملية الحفظ. So you can link them in this way. So what are you good at? I am good at playing chess, and I'm good at skiing and writing poetry. So you can now have a chess word ch word chains. The next one I don't like better to bake cakes I'd or to golf or to read English books. So as you can see, after at as I said we use ing form playing, skiing, writing. So after the preposition بعد حرف الجر نستخدم صيغة ال ing. After to we use the base form. نستخدم أجهزة الأصل من فعل to play, golf and read. Okay. You can have more chains. By the way, I'm good at. I enjoy three things. I can't. I hate. I don't like. I'm interested in. So this one can you you can do it by yourself. This is for your sake. You can do it by yourself. Another thing that you can do, you can think of different things you are interested in. Can you link them together? Use the last letter of each word or expression to start the next word. How many words did you use? So you can st put a thing that you like. Then you start the second word with the last letter of the uh, previous word. يعني أننا نقوم بكتابة شيء نهتم أو نحب القيام به ثم نبدأ الكلمة التالية الشيء الذي نحب القيام به أيضا يجب أن تكون بداية الحرف الأول من الكلمة الثانية هي الحرف الأخير من الكلمة الأولى Let's see an example So here we I like sports I like soccer I like reading I like grammar There's a missing R here Another example, I like a chess, singing, games, and surfing. So, in this way, you can learn more words. You can connect your the things that you like, and you have a longer chain. So, in this way, you can learn words, and you can memorize them. Okay, this is just a note for you. So, just in order to memorize words. Okay. Now let's have a revision, a revision, مراجعة لما أخذنا في هذه الوحدة. Unit revision, vocabulary, the vocabulary that we learned. We learned some new words, and those words are hobby, هواية, novel, رواية, sculpture, وهو منحوتة أو تمثال, design, تصميم أو يصمم, jog, يعدو, crime. جريمة poetry شعر biography سيرة ذاتية mystery الغاز أو اللغز أو التشويق science العلم knit الحياكة sweater وهي الكنزة الصوفية السميكة sew الخياطة crochet هو نوع من الصوف نوع خاص يسمى الكروشي photography so those are the most important words that we learn uh, that we learned in this unit. I'm sure there are more words that you can write down that you can add to your list. But those are the most important words. Okay, what we else talked about in this unit? We talked about can. How can we use can? Kazan is an auxiliary verb. It's a modal uh, auxiliary verb. We can use can for three things to talk about possibility or ability. I can speak English. I can do my homework by myself. To make requests, can I open the window or to ask for or give me give permission? For example, you can do your homework by yourself. You can go out. You can go with your friends. So this is a giving a permission. Structure of can, as we said, subject can, main verb. So after can, we said we use a main verb. I can play, so main verb. 
no addition we don't add anything نا نقوم بإضافة أي شيء في حالة السؤال نقوم بوضع كان وتبديلها مع uh, ال uh, ال subject so we only switch the places so this is a quick revision about can we also talked about verb forms we talked about uh, the form of verbs after can or can't we use the base form after to we use uh, uh, we use uh, the base form also to swim to play to work out towards to play so sometimes we say I love to swim I like to play I hope to work out I prefer to watch TV I'd like to play so after love like hey prefer and I'd like we use infinitive we call it infinitive infinitive means to plus verb to plus verb we can also use an ing form after preposition بعد حروف الجر نستخدم ال ing form we also use ing form after love the same thing we can use two forms infinitive or ing form like the same thing hate also and prefer but with I'd like we only use to play and after I enjoy we only use the ing form so those are the forms that we talked about the next thing we talked about everybody and nobody we said that if we have uh, a plural form all students are here today we can use it in a singular way everybody is here today everybody everyone is here today or in the negative there are no students here today plural then we change it into singular nobody is here today no one is here today okay here we have more examples everybody likes English everyone likes watching TV nobody likes music no one likes homework which is right okay the next thing that we talked about we talked about object pronouns here we have the subject pronouns I you he she it we you and they but we have the object pronouns which are me instead of I you the same him instead of he her instead of she it uh, the same us instead of we you the same and them instead of they now let's do an exercise about object pronouns let's do a very nice exercise which object form of the personal pronoun can substitute the underlined phrase in the sentence علينا استبدال الكلمات التي تحتها خط بأحد الضمائر أحد ضمائر المفعول به so the teacher always gives the students homework so which one do you think here we have a plural so the only one which could be right me is not for plural you for people that I'm talking to for second person but students are not second person they are third person that's why we use them so the teacher always gives them homework I am reading the book to my little sister so my little sister could be replaced by her the third one the boys are riding their bikes so we need to replace their bikes with one of the pronouns so their bikes plural the only one for plural is them again my father is writing a letter to John John is singular, he's third person and he's a male, so we use him. him. I don't know the answer, so I don't know. I don't know the answer. Can we use she? No. Can we use her? No. I don't know it. The next, the next five sentences. Sally is going to Anne. Anne is a girl she's third person and she's singular so 
and Sal Sally is going to her. Open the window, please. So open. So it's a thing. So that's why we use it. Okay, number eight. Can you tell the people the way to the airport, please? So we need to tell the people. People are plural and they are third person so that's why we use them number nine the books are for beta so we are talking about a man so they are or the books are for him can you play my can you help my sister and me please so my sister and me هل يمكنك مساعدتي أنا وأختي؟ or we can say هل يمكنك مساعدتنا؟ so we are talking about me and my sister. so can you help us؟ هل يمكنك مساعدتنا؟ help us please. okay. now in this exercise you don't have options. you don't have options. ليس عندكم خيارات. you have to uh, choose the or write the correct object pronoun yourselves so your son is making a lot of noise your son is making a lot of noise so we have to change your son with an object pronoun I'll ask my son all I ask him to be quiet. Uh, where are my glasses? Where are my glasses? So we are talking about glasses. You are wearing glasses are plural. 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 So you are wearing them. You are wearing them. Look at Sarah. She seems so happy. إنها تبدو سعيدة جدا. Her father, her father, offered, offered what? Offered Sarah. Offered her, offered her. قدم لها a car for her birthday. What are you going to do with those old papers? I'm going to recycle. So to recycle the old papers. So here we have old papers. The papers are plural. So I'm going to recycle them. So How are your kids? I haven't met Lam Ukabilu Hum I haven't met them again we use them because we are talking about kids and kids are plural and they are third person. Ghaabin Have you met Alan and Tim? Halkabelta Alan Watim So Alan and Tim we have two objects here. That's why they are plural. That's why we say no I have I have never met them Lam Ukabilhum Al al I have never Lam Ukabilhum Al Itlaq. Okay. The next four Do you want this book? Yes. Well take here we mean uh, take the book or take this book. Take it. It's one book, only one book. My mother is fantastic. I like my mother very much or I like so she's a female she's the uh, singular and she's third person that's why <coughs> that's why we say I like her very much don't help me with this exercise لا تساعدني في حل هذا التمرين I can do this exercise by myself I can do it by myself I can do this exercise it's only one exercise take the children to bed 
don't let the children we are talking about the children don't let the children watch TV لا تدع الأطفال يشاهدون تلفاز أو لا تدعهم so don't let them the children is plural is irregular plural form هو جمع في حالة شاذة حالة شاذة child the children so don't let them watch TV don't let them watch TV so this is the end of exercise I hope uh, object pronouns are not difficult for you because we have more difficult exercises about object pronouns okay subject versus object how to differentiate between subject and object كيف نقوم بالتفريق بين الحالة الفاعل والمفعول به so let's have some examples in the first example I called you I called you اتصلت بك so who is the subject here I من قام بالفعل who did the verb who is the doer of the verb من هو الفاعل I who is the object you because I called you وقع الفعل عليك وأنا قمت بالفعل here it's the opposite you called me أنت اتصلت بي so you are the subject and you called me and I am the object وقع الفعل علي وقع فعل الاتصال علي so that's why me is the object here ok let's have more examples more complicated examples أحمد and I are at school أنا وأحمد في المدرسة أحمد and I so here we have two subjects here we have two subjects not only one two subjects and that's why we use the plural verb of verb to be the next example John and he go to the gym again we have two subjects here so John and he هو و جون يذهبون إلى النادي الرياضي so here again we have two, uh, two subjects in the next examples we have two objects so I send emails to you and them it's incorrect to say I send emails to you and they this is a very common uh, mistake هذا من أحد الأخطاء الشيعة some of you might say I send emails to you and they no I send emails to you and them because وقع الفعل على you and them so both are objects that's why we use object pronouns for the for those two objects okay how can he blame you and him for the accident كيف يمكنه لومك لومك أو لومك ولومه عن الحادث. so how can he blame you? so you you are the first object and him the second object for the accident. so again here we have two objects so we use the object pronouns for them. okay another case when we have a preposition when we have preposition after preposition always use object pronouns okay so القاعدة تقول بعد أحرف جر نستخدم ضمير المفعول به so إذا كنا نريد استخدام ضمير بعد فعل الجر سيكون هذا الضمير ضمير مفعوله if we have a pronoun after the preposition or after any preposition it should be an object pronoun so I speak with him not I I speak with he it's incorrect I speak with him he is taller than me another preposition here I bought a book for him I bought a book for him اشتريتو كتابا له for him okay I hope all the examples are clear for you so here we have finished talking about the difference between the difference between subject and object so we have different cases sometimes we have one subject and one object other times we have two subjects and 
in other cases we have two objects and we said and the end sometimes or all the time usually most of the time when you have a preposition it try to use an object pronoun so whenever you have a preposition and you need to use a pronoun you have to use object pronoun not subject pronoun okay this is the end of explaining uh, this yes this uh, uh, section now we will do an exercise we will do an exercise about su subject and object pronoun we will do an exercise about subject and object pronoun okay let's see the exercise this exercise is online so we can get the answers quickly so as you can see here number one the girl tried to stop the dog from following her let's analyze this sentence let's uh, try to understand this sentence the girl tried to stop the dog so who is doing the this verb who is the sub the subject of the sentence here the dog is following so the dog is the subject and he is following the girl so the object should be here it comes after following so the answer should be an object pronoun so which one her or it so from following the girl so it should be her so and it gives us a yes which means uh, our answer is correct okay number two Tom and space went to the party last night so who went to the party so who is the subject Tom and so here we need another subject we need a su another subject so which one is the subject pronoun I'm sure that you know that the subject pronoun is I so Tom and I so here we have a yes which means our answer is correct number three the boy picked a book and threw we have a space here to the floor so who threw the the book man qama bi rami al kitab so who threw the book so the boy threw the book so here we need an object we need an object so instead of book what should we do what should we use instead of book we use it we use it which is the right answer number four you are my brother of course I like so I so I is a subject we need an object I like I'm talking to your brother so we need a second person متكلم أو مخاطب هنا second person so of course I like you so yes another correct answer very good so we're doing well f so far نقوم بعمل جيد Tom and Peter are good students Tom and Peter are good students space study very hard so who is doing the verb study they they study very hard they study very hard okay as Cindy likes history and geography she does well in so she is the, s the object she does she is the doer she does well in them so this is the right answer them refers back them ta'ud ala history and geography you are talking about history and geography those two subjects if you like the browns what does it mean the browns when we add the browns so we have s here is some uh, aila brown here is some aila ولكن عندما نضيف ز ونضيف اس تعني ال براون so اذا كنت تحب ان ياتي ال براون so if we have 
uh, an Arabic uh, family name for example if you like uh, let's have an example Al Zahrani so if you like the Zahranis to come uh, please tell so please tell you tell you tell we need an object pronoun you tell them you tell them number eight she showed the baby لقد أردنا الطفل so who did the, 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 the verb she so we need an object she showed us she showed us the baby and another yes it means our answers so far are correct now number nine Tom and are in the same class Tom and are in the same class so who is the subject Tom and so we have two subjects here so Tom and she so Tom and she we don't use her her is an object pronoun not a subject pronoun the last one the boys said the boys said would stay behind the boys said would stay behind so which one do you think so the the boys said here we have another subject it's something that we call dadal so the boys said they so the boys said they qala al asbyan annahum yawaddun al baqa fi al khalf so by this we come to the end of this exercise I hope you understand the exercise I hope you understood it so this is the end of lecture 9 and the end of unit 2 this is the end of unit 2 and in this unit we had a review at the end we talked about all the things that were included in this unit I hope next time I'll see you next time in the live session so I hope everybody will attend the live session which is going to be on Wednesday on Wednesday this Wednesday from 4 to 6 p.m. in the afternoon so I hope everybody will attend the uh, live session our first live session so I'll see you there enjoy your time Practice English and take care. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.